Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary O'Meara. This week's class is a 20 minute power vinyasa yoga flow where we are going to focus on a quick 20 minute mandala flow to get us moving during the full moon. If you're like me, your energy might be a little bit low and we just wanna wake up a little bit. You're gonna need peppermint oil or whatever you have on hand that might wake you up a little bit. You might or might not need a dog whether or not you have one. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Give me some thumbs up, give me some love, comment below, let me know your thoughts. And if you'd like to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram at Mary underscore Om Yoga. You can also connect with me for my monthly newsletter at www.essentiallyom.com. And if you are ready to join in on the health Healthy lifestyle with essential oils, be sure to click the link in the comment below and get ready and prepared and join my family. All right, yogis, let's begin. All right, yogis, let's begin with the application of our oil. If we have one, if you are using peppermint, go ahead and take a drop and apply it to your brain stem. So you're going to take it to the base of your skull and just rub. Make sure you don't touch your eyes after. You can also diffuse this. All right, and we're gonna begin standing at the top of our mat. We are moving directly with our flow today. Bring your big toes to touch, hands by your sides, and as we inhale, let your arms sweep up to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Let your shoulders relax down, belly draw in, lift your pelvic floor, connecting in with your bandhas right away. One more big deep breath in. And as we exhale, we forward fold. Bending into the knees as you lower down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, chaturanga. Lower halfway down, and then inhale into your back bend, whether it be up dog or cobra. And as we exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top, big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bending in the knees. Inhale, rise with a flat back, Urdhva Hastasana. Arms reach up to the top, bring your palms to touch. And as we exhale, we fold forward, releasing down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, vinyasa. Modifying as needed. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Sun A's, bring in energy and vitality. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise. Arms reach to the sky. And as we exhale, we fold. Uttanasana, releasing down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, plant it forward. Spin your back heel down, inhale, open, warrior two. Exhale to pause. Inhale, star, heels in, toes out. Exhale, goddess pose, hands to heart center. Pause here for just a moment. Bring the weight to the outer edges of your feet. So notice if you're kind of collapsing to the arches, bring the weight to the outer edges. Okay, and then you're gonna inhale, rise up, star. And as you exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Here we go with our circle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm up and back. As you exhale, release down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches high to the sky. And as you exhale, low lunge, plant it forward. Inhale, spin open, warrior two. Gaze over your left fingertips. Now you inhale, star, heels in, toes out. Exhale, goddess pose, hands to heart center. Inhale, rise, star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back, deep side body stretch. And as we exhale, we release. You have the option for ekapada if you like. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. Ekapada simply means one leg. Exhale, press back, down dog. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. As you exhale, low lunge. Inhale, open, warrior two. Pause with the exhale. Inhale, star. Heels and toes out. Exhale, sit a little deeper into your goddess pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Pause with the exhale. Inhale, star, heels in. Exhale, sit. Press to the outer edges of the feet. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release. Chaturanga, lower halfway, hold strong. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pressing into the balls of your feet, pressing into your hands, spreading your shoulders apart. Lift the hips a little bit higher. Feel the breath. We began directly moving into our flow today. We didn't work on the breath. So connect in, check in with it. In through the nose, out through the nose. We're gonna flow through this two more times. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, open, warrior two. Exhale, pause. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Maybe bring a smile onto your face. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, pause. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, release it. Vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Immediately inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, pause. Inhale, star. Exhale, gotta sit deeper. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, pause. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, release it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last time through. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, let's add on, side angle. Modify if you need to, elbow to the thigh. Inhale, star, reach up. Exhale, sit deep. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. 
Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Again, add on, exhale, side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, sit deep. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, release it. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, lift the leg up high, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, release it. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, make your way to the top have a seat. If you have a jump through in your practice, go ahead and do that now. <sighs> All right. Anybody else drag their feet on their jump through? I did. <laughs> hey, no shame. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of core work before we get ready to calm down. What? You're already halfway through. All right. Let's come into our boat pose. Navasana. Begin with your feet down. Hands behind your thighs. Walk your feet in a little bit. Lift your heart to the sky. Nice flat back. Pull the navel in. And then begin to lean back. Once you feel comfortable, you're going to extend your arms. So if you don't feel comfortable, don't extend your arms. Stay where you feel as though you will get the most benefit from this. If you feel comfortable with your arms extended, lift your legs. You can point point, flex your toes, whatever you want. Keep drawing the navel in. We hold for three, two, last one, lift the heart and lower down. Open the knees, draw the heart through. Inhale, gaze up, look up and exhale, round chin to chest. Inhale, lift back up, come back into your boat. So whether you stay with your feet down, lifted, arms extended, and we find it, and now we hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the feet, open the knees, inhale, lift the heart, gaze up. Exhale, round to the chest. Back to our boat. Find your way there. And now we hold for 10, nine, eight, keep lifting the heart, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna cross at your ankles this time. Make your way forward and jump back if you can into a chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart, come into your up dog. And then we're gonna come into a lazy dog. So go ahead and drop the knees down. You're gonna draw the heart forward, take an inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna look over your right shoulder, lift the right knee. Inhale back to center, drop the knees. And then you're gonna exhale, look over the left shoulder now, lift the left knee. It's gonna be a nice stretch for the front side of the body. Inhale back to center and as you exhale, tuck the toes, press back. Downward facing dog. 
pedal out the legs a little bit. We're gonna take a pigeon with our forward fold. Okay, so we're gonna inhale, lift the right leg high. Of course, if you have any knee issues, come on your back, you're gonna thread the needle. And as you exhale, right knee to the outer edge of the right wrist. Release the left foot back. Make sure that it points straight back out from the hip. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest. And as you lift, you're gonna get this nice stretch into the front side of the left leg. And then as you exhale, fold. And you can take this to the depth that you want. So maybe you come to your forearms, maybe you lower your forehead all the way down. And let this be the time that we surrender into letting go. Just don't let go of the asana itself, <laughs> which is the pose. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Listening to the sound of your breath. Inhale, walk your hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, press it up and back, lift your right leg up and over, three-legged dog. Now as you inhale, extend the right leg back behind you, lower it down, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, lift the leg high. And as you exhale, half pigeon left knee to the outer edge of the left wrist. Right toes release back. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Stay here for a moment, get the stretch through the right side, front side, and then as you exhale, lower down. So either pausing with your forearms down, yet your heart and your head lifted. Squeeze the inner thighs. And then if you lower down, lower down. And again, surrendering into ease and grace, just letting go. Let the grip of the body go. Let the grip of the muscles go. Yet yeah, keep this squeeze to the inner thighs and the breath steady. As you inhale, bring your hands back, lift your heart, lift your chest. And as you exhale, three-legged dog. Take it up and over. And then as you inhale, straighten the left leg, bring it down, downward facing dog. You're gonna inhale, look forward. As you exhale, step forward, have a seat, find your way onto your back. Once you do, and your shoulders are connected to the ground, squeeze your knees into your chest. We're gonna drop the knees over to the left, scoot the hips to the right a little bit. You can take your arms to a T or goal post. Bring your gaze to your right arm. And then switch, draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, bring yourself into a little ball like the full moon, and then you're gonna drop your toes down, scoot your hips to the left, drop your knees to the right. Let your gaze fall over to your left arm. Closing the eyes down. And then you're gonna bring yourself back to center, draw your knees into your chest. And if you would like to stay for a Shavasana, go ahead and pause the video. Otherwise, draw your forehead into your knees, bringing yourself back into your ball. 
and then bring your hands behind your thighs. You're gonna rock yourself up to a seat. Bring yourself to the top of your mat. Once there, bring your hands to your heart center. Closing your eyes, dropping the chin down. And let's just take a moment to draw in gratitude for our body, our breath, our practice. And hopefully we created enough space in a short amount of time to allow ourselves to let go, to invite in energy, invite in strength, being connected to mind, body, and soul. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide. Bring your hands to your lips. May your words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, the center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you, and together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. All right, yogis, if you made it to the end, which really I hope you did, it was a 20 minute class. <laughs> I wanna hear from you. What is it that you're looking to release during this full moon? It's a really great time to let go of things that are no longer serving you. Go ahead and give me, if you can on your phone or computer, a little moon, a full moon sign if you made it to the end. And also I like to educate you on why I use the oil that I do for the class. And today I chose peppermint because peppermint is really energizing for the body, really uplifting for the mind and the heart center chakra area. <laughs> also good for helping us to breathe a little bit deeper. I and mean, I just love peppermint for the energizing benefits, but also to the clarity that it helps to bring my mind, which during a full moon time can just wipe me out at times. So I hope that this class helped you to release and connect and wake up a little bit. All right, Omis, I will see you again next week. And remember, if you would like to join my oily family to get deeper education and 24 seven support from me, be sure to click the link in the comment below and get your premium starter kit. All right, my friends, I'll see you soon.